Yo, what up guys? Death Daedric here, coming at you with some Super Meat Boy. Um, first things first, these are all the characters I have. I have 80 bandages, so I have all these characters unlocked. Um, the kid, I swear to God, he's the biggest piece of shit to get in the game. He pisses me off. It took me like two and a half hours. Well, that's not the point. We're going to play some Super Meat Boy. This is a live commentary, so this is me, you know, how I play this game. And, you know, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to try and get at least through, hopefully, three chapters by the end of this live com. So I'm going to be moving as quickly as humanly possible to get through this. And I hope, well, hopefully I can get through at least three chapters so you guys can kind of see, you know, how I play the game and easier, or like, easy ways to, you know, do certain things and, you know, get past certain parts of, maybe you... You know, maybe you're not very good at Super Meat Boy. Maybe certain levels have you confused within the first three chapters. They do. Hey, hi, this might be able to help you. As, as well as a few shortcuts that I use to get through certain levels. Um, that's really about all I'm going to say about Super Meat Boy. Unless I get annoyed at, at certain parts. In which case, you will hear me complain. But, um, a couple topics I had that I wanted to talk about is, uh... Well, first things first, today is Easter, everyone knows it. This commentary will probably won't be up on Easter Day, but it'll be the day after Easter. So, from me to you, from me to everyone that subscribes and watches my videos, happy Easter to you. Hope you have a good one. Hope everything goes well for you on this fine day. Hope everything, hope you're safe and, oh wow, fuck this. Hope, every, hope you're safe, having a good holiday, and all that happy stuff. Ah. Uh. In the comment section, I want everyone to, you know, let's leave a nice little comment about what you, like, what you did for Easter. Like, what was your favorite part of Easter? My favorite part is probably going to be just, you know, hanging out with my family and having a good time. You know, playing a little bit of COD throughout the day. Maybe some Castle Crashers. But other than that, eh, probably just going to be spending the majority of the time with my family, hanging out, having a good time. Because, you know, that's what we all like to do. Just kind of, you know, hang out with our families on holidays. Just kind of chill, hang, have a little bit of fun for once. And, um, and the, the last commentary I put up, um, I was asking you guys what arcade game I should buy because I had some extra, uh, uh, bleh, some extra Microsoft points left over. And um, I went over to my friend Ryan's house, and he told me to download Castle Crashers. So I downloaded Castle Crashers and I've been playing the shit out of it. I love that. That game is fucking fun. I love it. So um, if there's anything you want me to do from Castle Crashers, let me know. I can do that too. I can do things from that game if you'd like. I can get people, I can get like a big group of people to do you know, pretty much anything. Um, within reason. There's just. Eh, actually, you know, you know what? Not even with reason. Anything you want to see, I'll do it. I don't even care. It's an arcade game. It's there for fun. They're there to promote having a good time. So you know what? It's, if you want to see anything from Castle Crashers, anything at all, let me know. I'll do it for you. And if I can't do it, well, you can watch me fail like an idiot. Because, you know, who doesn't love that? You all saw the live con with me and Miss Officer. I'm hoping for Borderlands, the last one we did. Oh, God. You know, we kind of thought that, like, we didn't realize that she couldn't do the knocks or the mission we wanted to do. So, we wasted all that time setting up the live com, getting over there, killing Nox, and we couldn't do the loot run because she apparently part of the quest glitched. But yeah, that was a fail. I can put up more fail videos. I don't even really care. Arcade fails are funny as hell to me. And even though know, it's not an arcade game, just, you know, funny fails. A video fails, a funny video fail. It makes me giggle. Alright, so that's the end of chapter one. Now we're on to chapter two. Chapter one's really not hard at all. I've never had any problems with chapter one, except for that one part where I died. Chapter two is a slightly different story, but not too much different, thank God. Um, I'm using four color Meat Boy just because he's cool. He uses, he's just, he's the exact same as Super Meat Boy, except he's like an 8-bit version or whatever. But he just, he's a darker, he's like just like a black or gray, as you can see. And he leaves a black trail behind, or like a grayish black trail behind him. I just think he's pretty cool. I don't know. You have to get, eight, oh, bleh. You have to get 80 bandages to unlock the fucker. 
So it is it is not fun in any sense of the word. Ugh. Okay. Um, if anyone has Super Meat Boy and you don't know what the kid is or how you get the kid, go to um, Chapter 5, which is Rapture. Uh, go to Chapter 5 and go to uh, Chapter 5-7, so Level 7 of Chapter 5, and there will be a red warp zone in Chapter 5-7. Go through that warp zone and you will understand why getting the kid is so damn hard. He, oh my god, he is the biggest pain in the ass on the fucking planet. Oh lord, I did. But yeah, I don't, I really hate the kid. Like, he's a decent character. Like, he's, you know, he's worth getting, I think. But at the same time, it's like, damn, like, some people can do that in, like, less than two minutes. Fuck that, dude. It took me, like, uh, I don't even know. It took me, like, an hour to finish the first part of the first level for God's sake I could not do it to save my soul I finally did it and it was a pain I wanted to murder something after I was done like I was considering like throwing my Xbox out the window and saying fuck you fuck you but I didn't thankfully I didn't do it so yeah I have the kid I might yeah I might put up a couple of kid gameplays, but I kind of like using Super Meat Boy. I don't like using the alternative characters very much. They're not very... They're good for getting bandages, but I don't like using them very much. Just because they don't move as quickly as Super Meat Boy does, which bugs me a little bit. Just honestly, it kind of bothers me. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to see kid gameplay, let me know, and I can get kid gameplay. Um, let's see here. Um, what else did I want to talk about in this commentary? I'm so retarded right now. So here, I covered Easter. I covered that. Um, Castle Crashers, I covered that. Super Meat Boy, I'm playing. God damn it. Playing right now. Okay, this is something I swore I would never do, but, uh, if you want to see me play through Chapter 7 of Super Meat Boy, which is Cotton Alley, the hardest motherfucking thing on the planet, I will eventually, like one of these days, I will do a live com of me playing Chapter 7 and raging like a mother. Because I will be dying repeatedly numerous times and I will want to kill something when I'm done. But yeah, if you want to see that, let me know. I'll do it. It's definitely going to be interesting for you. It'll be a bitch for me, but it'll be funnier than hell for you guys. Oh. No! Ugh. Super Meat Boy, man. It pisses me off to no end. That you never know what to expect until you're actually like free falling is when you know what to expect. And it's just uh I'm only on chapter two. I haven't played this game in a while either, so that's part of my problem is it's been a while since I've played Super Meat Boy. So don't hate if I'm so if I'm terrible, don't hate. Poop. Ugh. Oh, I almost failed. Alright. If I go silent for a second, it's because I'm like really focusing on a part. And yeah. But that shouldn't happen too often because if I had to focus hard on the beginning chapters, there's something wrong. Because the beginning stuff is just too easy. Like it's haha -ha, easy. That level is kind of, the level I just did is kind of a bitch just because, um, it's got a bunch of stupid shit. Um, there's so many ways you can die in that level and it's not cool at all. <sighs> okay, we're almost on chapter two, guys, I think. I don't know, I forgot to check out when I was on. Oh boy. Personally, oh god. Anyone that plays Super Meat Boy is welcome to comment on what I'm about to say. I despise the fucking, um, what are they called now? The fans. Anything that has to do with the fan in this game, I despise. It pisses me off so much. It's not even funny. I'm just so bad at it. I'm just ridiculous. 
All right, this is a chapter two boss. His name is Chad. Chad is, I'm not even really sure what Chad is. I think he's a big red blob or something. I don't know, maybe blob, I'm not even sure. All I know is he's really, he's a pain in the ass. If you don't know what you're doing, I should say he's a pain in the ass. But once you figure out like his pattern and the easiest way to go about it, he's like one of the easiest things in the game. Then you just jump over him, wazam! And Chad is dead. He's dead. Dead, I say, dead. Okay, I'm hoping I can get uh, three chapters done within this 15 minute time span. Because I don't, really don't want to spend all day rendering a fucking video. Even though it's going to be that way, anyways. Okay. Now we're on chapter three The Salt Factory. And salt kills meat. Because it dries it out, apparently. Because it's that damn cool, apparently. Herp derp. Oh boy. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm gonna be doing one of these days. I'm gonna do a live con with my friend uh, Carl Abison, and it, we're gonna be doing it on Castle Crashers. What? Oh god damn it. What could we do? What would you guys like to see us do as a live commentary for Castle Crashers? Like honestly, I can do anything in that game. I'm, it's an arcade game. I'm there to have fun, no matter what. So, so let me know what you want to see from that, and I'll definitely hit that up. Other than that, the only thing I'm really looking for, son of a bitch. The only thing I'm really looking forward to this weekend is my friend Max. He's been in basic training for the past four months. Um, he's he's gonna be a Marine, and he's been in basic training for the past four months. And uh, he sent me a message on Xbox yesterday. He said he'd be home today, and that we needed to play. And I haven't talked to him in so fucking long. I'm so ha I can't wait for that fucker to get home. Fucking, that's like, that dude, I've known him pretty much since I've started Xbox. He's been my friend for the longest time. Like, I met him extremely early on in the COD 4 days. So, me and him, I've, we've played a lot of shit. So, I'm definitely excited for his return home and back to Xbox, finally. No! Ugh. Certain times, I just really hate this game. I really do. Yay! Come on. I think I'm running low on time. I'm not sure. I really don't want to go over and look at my computer right now, even though it's right next to me. Because that means I'd have to take my eyes off the game. I'd rather not do that. No! Ugh. These rockets, man. The rockets are the second most annoying thing in the game, hands down. Most annoying thing in the game, uh, anyone that's played this game knows, there's these little black, like, black hole type things. And they shoot these weird chomp chomp looking things at you, and oh my god. When those little things hit anything, they turn into a bunch of little chomp chomps, and they are extremely annoying. It is the most obnoxious part of this entire game by far. Uh, so you're what level am I on now? 312? Ugh. Come on, Daedric, hurry up, you slow motherfucker. Ain't got time for this. Herp derp. Okay. <sighs> also, if you have any questions about Super Meat Boy, um, anything at all, I can, I'll answer any questions about Super Meat Boy. I'll answer any questions you have for me in general. Um, I'm very, I like to answer any questions I get, any comment I get, I like to answer. So if you have a question or just a statement that you want me to know, or just anything in general for me, leave it in a comment, I will answer you, whether it be, you know, right away as I see it, or maybe the next day if I'm just too tired to think. One of the two, but I will always get back to your comments. Never worry about that. If you have a question, definitely, definitely ask it, and I will answer you. 
Um, no doubts about it. So if you have any questions about Super Meat Boy, um, or just anything about me in general, feel free to, you know, ask me, ask me, god damn it, ask me in the comments section, and I will definitely, you know, give you a reply, or maybe if I get enough questions, I'll just make a Q&A video one of these days. But I had to have enough questions for a Q&A video before I'll do it. I'm not just going to do it for, like, five, con five questions. It has to be a bunch of them. Because I want to use a gameplay for it. And I don't like to go for short gameplays. I prefer, like, I only go for really search and destroy or free-for-all gameplays. So it'd be kind of hard to do a, um... Q&A video over something else because those are the only game modes that I like to play that can provide decently long gameplay because the people I play with, if I play something like TDM or Demo, oh good lord, it wouldn't take me long to win at all. It would just be a slaughter. Like, I, we, like the people I play with, we can win games of Demo and like, like literally as fast as it goes. Like the second like the game starts if we're on defense we'll finish the defense and then when it goes to offense we'll just rush playing both of them at the same time people don't know what to do but yeah I c that's the reason I don't play anything besides search or free for son of a bitch search or free for all because those are the only two game modes that I actually enjoy <coughs> getting gameplays in obviously and really okay only other okay the other update I have for everyone is um I'm working on a S and D and free for all montage. It's gonna be only S and D and free for all clips, and I'm hoping to get kill cams, feeds, and trick shots. That's my hope. Well, obviously kill cams and trick shots go hand in hand. I already have one nice kill cam that I'm going to be using, so I hope to get more. But like I said, it's going to be SND and free for all. Um, hopefully, I can get Kez to edit. Um, if I can get my clips in time, I'll be, ha be having Kez edit. But if I or if I or if I get my clips and Kez has free time, he said he'll do the edit for me. But if I don't get the clips in time for him, well, I'll have to find myself an editor. And I'm pretty sure that won't be too hard, considering the fact that. Eh, I can probably find myself an editor. I can either ask people I know from the rosters, or I can just do it my. I, I'm not. I won't do it myself, but I will find someone. But all right, that's the end of chapter three, and that's really all I'm gonna do for this video. I went a little over by about well, three minutes, but you know, eh, whatever. If you have any questions for me at all, anything, leave it in a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, other than that, I had nothing else really to talk about. So until next time, or bleh, next time. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.